Another chicken of the woods adventure. Hello. I'm here today in a meadow. We're going metal detecting. Let's see what we can find, shall we? Let's get some foil out of that soil. Well, I'm just enjoying this latte and then I'll carry on. Hello and welcome to another Chicken of the Woods adventure. Uh, yeah, I'm out on my own again. Rob's got van problems, man of the forest, should I say? Um, yeah, so we're out doing a bit of digging. Uh, first signal. Let's see what we've got. Well, it appears to be a drawer handle. Well, got to start somewhere. Let's see what's next. Well, next out of the ground, we got a little, it looks like a toasty, well it's not a toasty green, it's well, it's part toasty green, part toasty brown, it's, it's toasty anyway. Probably a George or a, a, a Gullimus or one of them, but she's gone. She gone, gone. Pretty smooth both sides, can't even see a Britannia on it. Probably would have been a half penny. Like I say, she gone. Get it clean up when we get back. See what it is. I just pulled out another little coin, which I thought were farthing. See that? Just get a good rub. It's very black. Rub it. Hmm. What we got hiding under there? Hiding under all that black look. I think that might be old uh, sixpence. I think that's an old sixpence. I'll leave that dirty for now. I will clean that back. But, looks like we got a bit of silver! Woohoo! definitely silver under there. Probably this field's made it go that tarnished that then it's... Could be one of the, uh, Could be one of the more modern ones, which is only, uh, 50% silver. But, we'll find out when we get back. We'll clean that up. Ooh, bit of silver! Come on! Come on, let's get them out. Well, next up, we got one of these little lead cones. Now, for those of you that don't know what this is, these are from when they were making musket balls. So when it was poured into the mould, they'd have these little cone where you pour it in at the top and they'd be filled all the way up to the top and then the musket ball would be snipped off just here so yeah I could cut the musket ball off the musket ball would sit underneath kind of like my finger is now and then they just snip it off not my finger hopefully but yeah they're uh they're the tops from when they were making musket balls or pistol shot more than likely a musket ball the size of that one yeah, I didn't realise part of my screens decided to fall off. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Nice bit of history. Absolute screamer down there. Uh, I saw the colour of that. Let's, uh, let's get in the sun a bit. Yeah. It was a bit gold in the hole. Uh, it turns out to be uh, part of a watch. A clock, I'd say probably a watch. You can see gears inside, look. Uh, just knock this bit off because this bit were a bit of iron on the back. And another gear. So yeah, I'll tell you what, if that were, that were a pocket watch, it was a heavy one. 
Look how thick it is. Well, that's missing part, so. Hmm. I'd say it's probably the workings from a clock looking at the size of it, but who knows? I wonder if that cog's gold. <laughs> hmm. On to the next one. Oh, next up seems to be, I don't know, is it an arm, is it a latch, is it a slider? Looks like a mini flintlock pistol, but uh, yeah, <laughs> get off me fly. Hmm. So it's got a lot of age to it, probably some Victorian, I'm not too sure. Hmm. On to the next. Well, I know it's rubbish, but it's still interesting. We've got some Dunlop rubber solution. It says no smell. I should imagine that was probably for fixing the old tractor tyre once upon a time. Pulled the lid off by mistake, just uh, unfolded it, but yeah. Good old Dunlop's rubber solution. Can't beat a bit of rubber solution. Well. I've just had to clean my screen because I couldn't see because the sun was shining off it. And we just got this little uh, half penny by the looks of it. I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for Vicky. No, it is a. Yeah, it looks like a George V. Yep. So it's a George V. Uh that'll be uh let's see if we can see the date on it. So we've got nineteen twenty seven, George the fifth. Woo! Half penny. Not quite a toasty green as you can make it out, but it's definitely gone green. So we've got pretty green! Ah it went quiet for a little while. But I just got another toaster. I don't really say it's toasty green, it's more brown. So, probably another George II or Gullimus or a, a Gwilliam or, or one of the Gwilliams. But, a toasty green. Well, toasty brown, should I say. Stop calling them toasty greens when they're not toasty greens. Don't you love it when you just pull one out like that? Oh. Still got the impression on that side, look. Impression! What we got then? Whatever it is. Oh, it's a button. Just like that. That's a big old dandy. Still with a loop. I thought we got a coin. I thought we got a gong coin. That's a big old dandy button. That's probably about 1800. Still got the loop. That's nice, that is. Look at that one. Look at that. Big old dandy button. It's bigger than any of the coins I've had today. Ah, well. Carry on. Might go and get another coffee in a minute. Yeah, that's nice. Nice one. One for you button lovers! We seem to have a uh, bronze oddity. Uh, thin bronze. Uh, five holes in it. Looks like it would have had two more holes here. I think that's broken. I don't think it's actually shaped like that. I think it's broken where there would have been more holes. Uh, yeah, break a beer plate off some of it. Unknown. Next up, fairly modern square horse buckle. Fairly modern that one, probably. I'd say 1940s with that thing. So, not that old. Time for a uh, quick coffee. Let my knees dry out a bit because my knees are uh, soaking. They'll dry in quite quickly, which is good. Just have a nice coffee. Mmm.
Yeah, so not been bad so far. Uh, really got showed you most of the things that found. Found a lot of crap, uh, a lot of shotgun cartridges. Always find a lot of shotties around here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna move off next uh, shrine in the meadow, and then we'll move into the woods because there's a, a little flinty patch in the woods. I want to get a check over, so. Stick around, let's see what else we get. Right, we ain't gone to hear the bit of the other pasture yet because uh, I decided to bugger it, we'll come straight in the forest to this. Now, this hasn't been cleared for a path, this was cleared for another reason because basically there was a bloody fire in here and it nearly took down the whole place. Yeah. So, uh, mm, Landoni's been telling me about it. Uh, it's a terrible, bloody thing. Lost a lot of woodland. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give this down there a bit of a search. I don't like woodlands normally because there's just uh, layer after layer after layer after layer after layer because I'm top. So I don't like searching woodlands normally. But as you can see, all this has been cleared. So, let's give it a tickle. Well, I'm in the area of the wood where um, the soil's very sandy and very stony, so we think there's obviously a riverbed going through here. There's a lot of flint down here, so I always check the flint, but I just spotted some of it. Now, I have pulled it out and had a look at it, but that's where it was, so I'll put it back. Looks to me like a bulb of percussion. So I'll turn it over. That looks like a little thumbnail scraper to me. The light's not brilliant. Sorry, people. It's not a brilliant one. It definitely looks like a little scraper. Yeah, we'll clean that up when we get back. I think we've got a little thumbnail scraper. There's your bop, look. Bop! Or bulb of percussion! Nice. Get in. Woohoo! Flint scraper. That's another one for the collection. I can hear you, Mr. Buzzard. Wherever you are in the sky. Can't see because the sun's shining too brightly. Oh, don't you love a bit of sun? Oh, what do they say? It's lovely in the sun, but it's better in the daughter. Well, it's a nice red piece, but yeah, again, I'm not sure. I think it's chatter. Let's see why they'd use that piece as a scraper. Hmm. I think that one's chatter. I'm going to say that one's chatter. But, we're out man of the forest. We'll have a look at them all later and uh, hopefully he can uh, enlighten me as he's uh, better on the old flints than I am. Yeah, interesting. First thing out of the wood seems to be a big, uh, big uh, brass pin. Big, uh, yeah, bronzy. Uh, uh. We'll give it a clean up when we get back. I doubt it's anything, but oh, at least some of it come out of the wood so far. I ain't even had a shotgun cartridge, uh, cap, uh, shitgun cap as I call them, uh, yeah, not even had one of them. On with the game. Speak of the devil. Bloody shitgun caps. Where else are you going to find them? You're always finding them in woods. Bloody things. Well, I've just come out of the no good wood. And straight on to what seems to be uh, a little Vicky farthing. Sorry, the, the what between me and the bloody. There you go, Victoria, young bonnet, it's quite nice. And uh, what we got on the other side? Uh, 
without dropping it. Let's get it in the shade a bit. We got 1876, little Vicky farting. Say so young head. Why well, she was still pretty. Little farthing. Nice. Oh. Knob. That was a bloody screamer. I like these though. Make nice tops of walking sticks. Oh well. It's a knob for a knob. Well, this will probably be the last one from me. I thought it were a military button. It's quite a big one. Very toasted. Lost the loop. But, uh, yeah. I'll really clean up when I get back. There might be a picture on it. I don't want to rub it too much, though, because I'll probably take it off. But, hey, another big military button. So, I'll just give this last little bit in front of that style a bit of a uh, go over. And then, I think it's time for Chantel. I mean, show and tell. God, stop going on about Chantel. Yes, anyway. Right. If you don't see me again until show and tell, see you then. Let's try and do show and tell with a very blurry phone. But, never mind. So, first of all, we ended up getting that drawer handle. Why do you find so many bloody drawer handles in fields and so just people burning stuff? We got a bit of uh, bronze or copper, um, like a bit of pin or something. Next we've got a pulley, so some kind of old pulley, probably for a washing line or something. Uh, stop looking at my knob. Yeah, we got a uh, uh, the doorknob. I do like these though. That was a squealer. Uh, that was a bit of folded lead, but nothing inside. That's the pin that we had out of the forest. Uh, yeah, it seems to be like a brass pin. Seems to be threaded. Look. Uh, maybe that went for a wheel or something. Uh, buckles. Well, I ended up getting a few buckles. Didn't film them all, but yeah, most of them modern. That one's still got a bit of leather on it, that one. Pin broke off, but still left the leather. Uh, that one's an oldish one. Half a shoe buckle, probably 1600s. Uh, that's also a shoe buckle. Uh, uh, if I just go, uh, I think I just press the screen or something. Uh, yeah, that's better. And then we got the buttons. Well, that was that big one that I found last. Well, I can't see no picture on it. If there was, it's gone. That was the big one, the big dandy button. It's got the uh, loop still on the back. It's a nice one, that one. Definitely a keeper. Uh, that's the... I don't know what that was. Uh, pulley arm or something. Still got a bit on it that moves. Uh, more buttons, broken ones. Uh, where are we now? Oh, yep. Yeah. So, we got some bits of pewter spoon. And then this, which... Seems to be a little brooch, and it's got some little green stones in. But I found that in the uh, I found that in the mud, and pulled that out of my bag because I couldn't get it clean at the time. So didn't actually know that were a brooch. But as you can see, it's still got its little green stones. Um, yeah. Then we'll go to <laughs> well, the watch. It is a fob watch. It was a bloody heavy one. Put it that way. Yeah. So, fob watch. Some more 
cogs from the inside. It's gone rusty. That uh, on there. Um, yeah, weird bronzy artifacts with holes in. I don't know what either of them are. This it's got that oldish patina to it though, so. Whatever that was, it's oldish. That's probably 1600s or something. Uh, somebody texting me. Uh, then let's go on to. Let's go on to the flints. Now, check most of these. Most of these turned out to be just uh, natural fragments. Um, that did look like working. When I was out, but that's cleaned it up. Nah. Also, this one that yeah, it's just natural. So the natural stuff can confuse you. Uh, it's also this one looked like a part of a blade. It's thin. Almost. Let's see if I can get that on. It almost looked like it'd been worked in it in there, but I can't get the phone to focus properly. But I think yeah again, I think it's natural. And then the was this one which I put on the flint site. Uh Rob seems to think it could be a scraper as you can see there's the ball cushion at the bottom the bop ball percussion and yeah Rob thinks it could be an abrupt scraper um, like I said to you when we were out it's not a pretty one so but it's another one for the collection I'll put a better video on at the end. Well, slightly better video. Uh, coinage. So, we got a lot of toasted. A lot of toasted coinage. Obviously, very acidic ground up there. Um, can't make out any pictures on most of these. Uh... Just make out something on that one. It's probably Britannia coming through. Uh, like I say, they're mostly gone. Uh, it's a, not a toasty green, but it's not far off it. And we got George V. And that was. Uh, 1927. I'm sorry, I've had to turn the torch on because I've totally lost the. Is that 20? Yes, yeah, 27. Uh, yeah, I've totally lost the light now, so I had to turn the torch on. Just as I came out of the woods, we got this nice vicar. That's 18. Focus, so I can see. 1875, I think. Yeah, 1875. It's a young head vicar. Like I said to you, why well, she was still quite pretty. Uh, we got a spender. Can still spend that. I'll give it a quick rub with something and uh, yeah, I'll slip that in the change somewhere. So that's a 2008. Of Elizabeth II. God bless you, mom. And we got a silver. But is it real? Or is it 50% silver? Now, I did find the date on it. And it's even harder to see now. Because I'm shining a bloody torch on it. But there, down at the bottom. 1928. So, no, it's not. That's probably why it was so dirty and so crusty. Uh, George V. I can't really see. 
Yeah, there's another George V side. Sorry. Blinding you with the light. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so. Not a bad little haul. I enjoyed today. It was nice out in the sun. Uh, so, yeah. My phone's not going to uh, uh, focus anymore. So, a uh, big shout out to uh, my new subscribers. My dad. <laughs> and Man of the Forest. Big shout out to Man of the Forest. Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, missed you today, mate. Uh, yeah, so... Hope you've enjoyed today, and that's me. This is Chicken of the Woods, signing off. Catch me on the next one, if you want. That's up to you. Catch ya. Tatty bye. Thanks for coming.